On these series, I will present some of the main concepts in Helium Scraper. Although I will create an extraction agent during these series, the point will not be to show how to write any particular agent, but to explain all the details surrounding this process. Also, note that they will be recorded sequentially, so it'd be a good idea to watch them in the right order. I will first create a project, which I will call Sample. I will go ahead and load a page here, which I will use as a sample. The first thing I'll talk about are the selectors. Selectors are used to select elements on web pages. All the selectors we create will be stored in the Selectors category, in the Project Explorer panel. There are several ways to create selectors. One of them is to first turn on selection mode by pressing the Show Selection button at the bottom. When selection mode is on, a blue border around the button will be shown, and we'll be able to select elements on the page by clicking on them. Multiple elements can be selected by holding the control key. And similar elements can be selecting by holding the shift key. We can then clear the selected elements by pressing the clear selection button. Another way to select elements on the page is by clicking the detect list button. If no elements were selected when the button was pressed, Helium will attempt to find a list on the page and select every list item. If any elements are selected, it will attempt to detect the list that contains the selected elements, such that each list item contains, at most, one of the elements that were selected. The detect list feature is typically used when extracting from a list of results. While elements are selected, a selector can be created by right-clicking the Selectors category and selecting Create from Samples. Any time we create a selector, a descriptive name must be given, for instance, Yelp filter. Note that spaces are not allowed in the selector name, so words can be distinguished by starting each word with an uppercase character. A selector is internally defined as a list of HTML properties, such as tag name, class name, and many others. And when a selector is created, only the properties shared by all the sample elements are included in the list. A selector will normally select more elements than the ones used as samples, and the larger the sample size, the more elements it will select. After a selector is created, it can be used anywhere within a project where elements need to be selected, in order to perform actions or to extract data from these elements. Selectors can also be created from inside globals, which is something I will do on the next video. <laughs>